Hey YouTube, it's Looney here. Welcome to my first ever video on YouTube and the first in a series of videos I'm going to try to do on items that I keep with me on a daily basis, beginning obviously with this video, uh, the EDC video, uh, and working all the way up to items that I keep, uh, I guess sort of an EDC video for my, tr for my truck. Uh, my vehicle, the, what I drive on a daily basis, and everything sort of in between, uh, working from an organizer pouch up to an EDC bag, a get home bag, a bug out bag, and then uh, obviously in and with the truck. So uh, without further ado, I want to jump right into it. I want to waste any time. Here we go. Uh, you can see on the table, obviously very minimal. I, I'm a minimalist person. I like things to be lightweight. I like things to be slim. Uh, I don't I'm not a huge fan of things in my pocket. I don't like to have things stuffed in my pocket. It makes me uncomfortable. A lot of times if I'm walking around, uh, I will actually hold things in my hands instead of, uh, instead of keeping them in my pockets. Uh, obviously, uh, that doesn't happen with everything. But uh, I want to just start off first and foremost with the wallet. Uh, pretty much everybody carries a wallet. I'm sure some people carry money clips. But this is the Maxpedition Micro Wallet. Uh, very heavy duty material is the same material the Cordura uh, material that they make all their bags and all that stuff out of got this one in olive drab um, I think it was on sale when I bought it uh, it I just got it off of Amazon very slim wallet uh, you know I just keep keep my ID some cash credit card um, stuff like that in here keep it very simple uh, this is the Maxpedition micro wallet drop that there next item Kershaw Leak. Uh, this is the Kershaw Speed Safe uh, uh, Ken Onion design. If I can get that to focus there. Um, really nice knife, very sharp knife, and again, staying with the theme, a very slim knife. Oftentimes, uh, I forget it's even there, although I know it's there. Uh, love this knife. A really great purchase. I think I paid about 44 bucks for it on Amazon. Um, I'll be buying more of these knives. I got this one in black. I actually want to get one in green as well. They have an olive drab color as well. So I want to get that one as well. Um, really enjoy the, the action uh, as it comes out, the speed safe action. Um, and just enjoy how it feels in the pocket. Uh, the, the belt clip has a lot of retention to it. It does have this uh, safety on it. Um, I actually flipped the belt, uh, belt clip around and, uh, and left the safety off uh, just to test to see. And the blade did actually open in my pocket one time. Uh, so I flipped the belt clip back around. It actually carries deeper uh, in your pocket if you use the belt clip this way. Uh, you can see the holes here. It sticks up a little bit further if you flip the belt clip around, but uh, it is an option if you want to flip it around. Uh, I tried it, didn't really like it, uh, so I keep it this way. Uh, the Kershaw Leak. Next item on the list, this is the New Myth Tow Hill Lighter. This is from GoingGear.com. This is just a uh, basically a, a, a sealed lighter. It's not waterproof. I would say that it's water resistant, kinda. Uh, it does have an O-ring here. Uh, I have uh, heard folks say that they have replaced this O-ring with a little thicker one, and it helps it to seal it off a little bit better. Uh, but just a uh, you know standard uh, lighter, much like a Zippo lighter uh, lights up. Uh, actually, put fuel in the uh, in the base here. Holds a pretty good bit. Lasts a pretty good uh, amount of time. Uh, you can actually sit it down uh, if you're out somewhere and need some light, you can use it as a little candle. It sits perfectly down like that. Um, works really well. Uh, I don't always keep this in my pocket. Uh, sometimes I'll take this out because it, it is, again, uh, you can see it next to uh, the leak. A um, little bit thicker, so uh, sometimes this bothers me in my pocket, but I always have it nearby. So uh, this is the New Myth Tow Hill Lighter uh, from GoingGear.com. Next on the list, my watch. This is on my arm every single day. Um, this is a Sunto Core. And this is an ABC watch, altimeter, barometer, and compass watch. Don't really use the altimeter or the compass. The compass is not very accurate, although, you know, in a pinch, I guess it would work okay. Um, I don't really use the altimeter just because I'm not uh, typically traveling it uh, or, or doing uh, hiking where I'm 
uh, you know, where I'm changing elevations a lot uh, to where it matters. I, I have uh, used it uh, snowboarding, but uh, I forget to look at it, you know, because I'm just, you know, I'm snowboarding. I'm not worried about looking at my watch, but uh, I do use the barometer. And the reason I use the barometer and uh, is because it has a storm alarm uh, uh, function on the watch. And I like the storm alarm when I'm fishing. I do a lot of fishing on the river. And it's very important to know when a storm is coming. And I found this watch to be somewhat a fairly accurate. I mean, for, for a watch, something that you're wearing on your arm to give you notification of a storm, usually uh, if the alarm goes off, if the barometer drops and the alarm goes off, uh, probably 30, 45 minutes later, it's either raining or a storm's coming up. Uh, so it gives me a, a good idea uh, to know where I need to pull over on the side of the river, seek some shelter. If I'm camping that night, I may uh, pull my trip a little bit short, uh, or I just may pull over and find some cover for a little while while the storm blows over if I've got uh, the rest of the day to go. But uh, this was a gift. Love the watch. Uh, works really well. I've put one battery in it, I think, since I've had it. Um, it's got some nicks and, and scrapes on it, but still works really good. Uh, pretty durable watch, and uh, uh, really enjoy it, uh, mainly for that storm alarm function, and obviously, uh, you know, tells time too. So, um, the Sunto Core watch. And then, last but not least, um, this is the XD Mod 2 9mm subcompact. Um, let me just clear this here. Um, really great pistol, very, uh, very compact pistol. Obviously it's a subcompact. It's not for everyone. I really enjoy it. Shoots really well. Um, has this, uh, grip zone, they call it marketing, uh, thing here, but, uh, it does fit really well. I don't have huge hands, uh, and I can actually get even on the regular clip. I can actually get my pinky. Uh, a little bit on there uh, because I don't have, you know, I have smaller hands. So uh, this pistol works out great for me. Carry this every day. Uh, on the trigger uh, is a trigger guard from Aegis Armory. This is the Guardian from Aegis Armory. Uh, it's just a trigger guard. Uh, the paracord wraps around your uh, belt and you, you can stash it away, uh, you know, in your belt if you want to conceal carry. And uh, it just pulls off just like this, when you pull it out, uh, it catches, obviously the paracord catches on your belt and the uh, trigger guard comes off and it's ready to, ready to fire. So um, really like this so far. I've only had this for about a week and a half, two weeks. So I don't, I can't really give you a full review on it yet. Um, not sure if I'm going to like it, if I'm going to, I will probably go with a, a, a full uh, concealed carry holster for this pistol. Uh, but I do enjoy how this uh, uh, covers the entire trigger guard. You can see that it, it wraps really well. It's made very well, uh, fits perfectly around uh, everything on the pistol. Um, and, and I'll put a link to all this stuff below. I just wanted to, to show, it, um, show it out first, and you'll see all the things in the, in the uh, item description. Uh, the uh, Mod 2 comes with two magazines uh, when you buy it. This is a 13 round magazine, nine millimeter. It also comes with a 16 round extended, extended model that extends out. Uh, and I have 147 grain uh, Hornady critical defense ammo in it. Obviously I don't target shoot with that, but uh, I do keep that for uh, personal, personal defense purposes. So, so that is pretty much it. That is the items that, that I try to carry on a daily basis. Uh, I know it's not a, a table full of stuff like you see a lot of videos. I try to stay, again, very minimal, uh, very lightweight, and very slim uh, is the, sort of the, the theme here. Um, I, I just want to give a preview of video two. This is the Condor pocket pouch. I'll be going over what's in this pouch in the next video. Uh, this is a, a part of a modular system that sort of uh, this stuff complements this bag, which complements another and another. Uh, but that's just a preview of what I'll be going over next. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if I can answer any questions, please, please post them below. Uh, if you got any suggestions, some stuff that I could do better in the video, some stuff that you would, uh, uh, you know, some constructive criticism to, and some feedback, please, uh, please post it below. Would love to hear it. Want to get better, do more videos, and uh, provide more content. Uh, please like and subscribe and. 
Thanks for watching.